Jake Golding, a pest specialist here at Stewart's. We have all had unwanted encounters with spiders, and today we're going to talk about the most common spiders found here in Utah. First on that list is the jumping spider. Jumping spiders are one of the most common indoor spiders in Utah. They are best known for their jumping, movement, fuzzy appearance, and vibrant color patterns ranging from yellow, blue, and green colors. They have excellent eyesight and usually will find their prey by stalking and attacking. Even though they bite, it's usually not poisonous to humans. Number two on the list is the cellar spider, also commonly known as the daddy long leg. They are known for their long legs and small bodies. They often live in dark, cool places like cellars and basements. Some of their feeding behaviors are rather interesting. They will go to another spider's web and tap on it, mimicking an insect has come in contact with the web. When the owner of the web comes to check it out, the daddy long leg will then attack and feed on that spider. The next two spiders are closely related and often misidentified or mixed up with each other. Both hobo spiders and barn funnel weavers make a funnel shaped or tube shaped web and are often found towards the bottom of their web waiting for their prey. The hobo spider has stacked triangles on the back abdomen and can grow to be about the size of a quarter. They are usually found on the ground level in cool, dark areas as well as near vegetation areas. The increase of hobo spider sightings usually picks up during the months of August through October as they are trying to find a mate. The main difference between the hobo spider and the barn funnel weaver is the dark brown or black bands found on the barn funnel weaver's legs. Barn funnel weavers are usually found outside the home or in outbuildings such as sheds or garages. They rarely travel inside homes. The fifth spider on the list is the wolf spider. Wolf spiders typically don't create a web structure and will instead stalk, chase, and ambush their prey. These spiders are known for carrying their young ones on their back abdomen. There are different species of wolf spiders found here in Utah. One of the most common is the rabid wolf spider and can be identified by two vertical stripes that run along the abdomen. Have you ever been cleaning your home and ran across webbing in the corners of the ceiling? If so, then odds are you ran into the web of a yellow sack spider. This spider will often be a yellow to clear color depending on their diet. Most of the spider bites that occur in and around a home are from a yellow sack spider. Their bites can be toxic and rather painful. The last spider on this list is the black widow. Black widows are one of the most common and well-known spiders in Utah. They are easily identified by the red hourglass on their underside. This spider is often found in flower beds, inside garages, usually near the garage door, around the back and front porch areas, and along rock walls or landscapes. Their bites can be poisonous and often occurs when people are cleaning out garages or doing yard work. As we briefly mentioned before, spiders can be found in rock areas, bushes, porch and deck areas, lawns, garages, light fixtures, and utility rooms inside the home. Here at Stewart's, we provide pest control treatments that target all these areas. We also sweep all spider webs that may be found in and around the home. If you have any questions, feel free to call or text our office.